In this session, I will explain about electrochemical sensor for the determination of dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen is an important parameter of water which detects the quality of water and it is expressed in milligram per liter or in ppm, that is parts per million. The dissolution of oxygen in water is varies with the temperature, pressure, salinity, etc. Usually dissolved oxygen value decreases with increase in the temperature. There are several methods for measuring the dissolved oxygen, including titrimetry, optical methods, and electrochemical method. As classical titration method is very tedious, electrochemical sensors plays an important role for determining the dissolved oxygen. Electrochemical dissolved oxygen sensors or uh, amperometric sensors or clerk type sensors are used to measure the dissolved oxygen in water based on the electrical current produced. Usually, dissolved oxygen sensors consist of two electrodes of different metals. Whenever selecting the metal, the potential difference between two electrodes always should be more than 0.5 volt so that it will reduce the dissolved oxygen without the help of external potential now let us see the assembly of dissolved oxygen sensors let us consider a sample of water containing dissolved oxygen to measure the dissolved oxygen duo meter is immersed in the sample the duo sensor consists of a working electrode made up of silver and a counter electrode made up of lead. At the tip of working electrode, an oxygen permeable membrane made up of Teflon is played, which allows the diffusion of only dissolved oxygen to the sensor. The electrolyte solution will be usually potassium hydroxide. These two electrodes are connected to emitter. This is the construction of for DO sensors. Let us see the working of DO sensor. As we can see, DO sensor consists of a silver electrode which acts as cathode and the lead electrode which acts as anode. The potential difference between uh, these two electrodes is more than 0.5 volt, which is the essential requirement for reducing the dissolved oxygen without the application of external potential. The dissolved oxygen uh, diffuses into the DO meter through Teflon membrane. The rate of diffusion is proportional to the pressure of oxygen or the concentration of oxygen in water. At anode, lead undergoes oxidation by liberating electrons. This is the equation. So at anode, lead is converted in, into its ionic forms with the liberation of electrons. The silver used in the cathode is not undergoing any reduction. Uh, instead, it passes the electrons to the oxygen. Hence, at cathode, dissolved oxygen undergoes reduction to form hydroxide ions. So, this is the reaction takes place at cathode. So, by adding um, these two reactions, the overall reactions will be lead react with oxygen and water it produces lead hydroxide the lead hydroxide is precipitate out into the electrolyte solution however it neither pours the anode nor consumes the electrolyte hence it does not affect the sensor's performance the electrical current produced by the flow of electrons from anode to cathode is directly proportional to the concentration of dissolved oxygen in water. 
Hence, by measuring the flow of current, dissolved oxygen can be determined. 